product structure diagram is a manufacturing document that shows the parent-child relationships between assemblies, parts, and raw materials. And it's used for material planning. So each part uh, is in a box. It has a unique uh, number, a name, a quantity, and a unit of measurement. And it shows how parts are fed into that top level assembly, All right? So these parts on the second row here are fed into the electrical box final assembly. So one cake box, one front cover, eight tack screws, two hinges, and one cam latch all feed into this electrical box final assembly. And notice that these parts right here don't have anything below them. And that would indicate that they are purchased parts. Or sometimes called raw materials. Okay, and so we eventually get there through the front cover and the sheet metal that goes into it as well. Okay, and so that is, you, you need to get to that state or that level of detail. Um, you need to have a raw material feed into all of your parts um, to satisfy the product structure diagram. Okay, so um, if we look at the cake box, we have a quantity of one and it has a unit of measurement of each. Okay, so I get one cake box per electrical box final assembly. That makes sense. I see it right here. I only see one. Okay, and then for every one cake box, I'm going to reserve a quantity of 0.125 sheets of this 18 gauge white coat steel that is 48 by 96 inches. All right, so where does this 0.125 sheets come from? Well, it comes from the part, and the part is 24 by 24 inches. And so 24 by 24 um, divided by the sheet size, which is 48 by 96, is equal to 0.125. All right, so I reserve 0.125 of this part number here, and its unit of measurement is sheets. And again, I get down to a purchased part. So I'm purchasing this sheet. All right, and for, and then that feeds into the part, and then this part feeds into the final assembly. All right, so that's how I get from purchased parts all the way up into my final assembly, which I can order. Okay, so let's say we have an order of two. Well, if I have an order of two, I'm going to get two electrical boxes. And if I need to make in my factory two electrical boxes, I'm going to need to make two cake boxes and two front covers. I'm going to have to reserve 16 tack screws, four hinges, and two cam latches. And that feeds down into my raw materials to make the, the sheet metal parts too. So I'm going to reserve 0.25 sheets for this part and 0.14 sheets for, for the front cover. All right, so that is how a product structure diagram is made and what, is, what it is used for.